Tonight, we're hearing from the family of a Wichita woman killed in an apartment fire. Wichita's fire union calling out 911 dispatchers and what they're calling failures to the system that caused that woman's death in that October fire. Also today, county leaders on the defense claiming dispatchers were unable to understand the cries for help and a lack of training led to some of those dispatchers unable to properly do their job. Brandon Stitt talked with an attorney for the family. Brandon, what are they saying tonight? Yeah, Rachel, the attorney for the Badesky family calls the inaction by Sedgwick County 911 a failure in the system. And they say those failures are what led to the death of their 22 year old daughter, Paoli. Years cost Paoli her life. An attorney for the Badesky family calling the failures of Sedgwick County dispatchers a contributing factor in Paoli's death at Brook Hollow Apartment. We now know that it was Paoli's 911 call that initiated the dispatch of firefighters to the Brook Hollow apartment building. <laughs> Even though Paoli clearly and repeatedly told the dispatcher the apartment number where she lived and was trapped, that crucial life-saving information was never given to the firefighters on the scene. Sedgwick County Commissioner Jim Howe defending the dispatchers. Again, I don't want to point blame. I don't think that's appropriate, but people in public safety are human beings. They have to make decisions. Ultimately, it comes down to training and doing what you remember you, that you learned. But the family says that training didn't work. Firefighters' request for a second alarm and additional personnel to help at the scene was delayed for over 17 minutes because the dispatchers were not trained well enough on the computer-aided dispatch system. The Badeskis, along with the Wichita Fire Union, now calling for change. The family wants to make sure that this doesn't happen to anyone else. And that attorney made no mention of lawsuits as of now, but made it clear that they are calling for corrective action and accountability. Just heard in Brandon's story there today, Sedgwick County Commissioner Jim Howe defending 911 dispatch. The emergency communications director says at the time, the dispatcher could not understand what she was saying before the call ended. Howell says because of that, it was difficult to pass on clear and accurate information to those on scene. The union also points to the delay in dispatching the requested second alarm. And dispatch admits at least two people did not know how to activate it. Howell says the county is continuously invest, uh, investing in and working to improve the 911 system, including a recent remodel and upgrades. It is unfortunate that we had a technical uh, mistake happened <clears throat> at that moment, but it would not have changed the response actually, and it would not have changed the outcome. In a review of the incident, the Wichita Fire Department notes communication as an area needing improvement. The Wichita City of Wichita says since April, the Wichita Fire Chief has been regularly meeting with other Sedgwick County Fire Chiefs about that computer system, and that group has requested improvement.